can't have too much highlighter. Okay, maybe you can. Alright, hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's look, we are going to be doing this purple halo eye. And I was inspired by this Milani palette that I saw at the drugstore. And I just, I don't know, I don't really ever use purples on my eyes. And I love the way it turned out. It really complements my brown eyes. So if you have brown eyes, definitely feel free to try this out. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, stay tuned. And All right, so I've already prepped my skin with the Tatcha Water Cream Moisturizer. So that's been on my skin and that's been sinking in. So we are good to go to move on to primer. I'm going to be using the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Primer. And I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this and putting this in my T-zone to fill in my pores. I'm bringing the excess to my chin. We are first going to start off with the eyes. And for today's look, I'm going to be doing kind of a purple look. The main focus is going to be this new Milani palette in Plum Basics. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a really gorgeous palette. I have not yet tried it, so it's going to be kind of a first impressions as well. So I'm first going to start off by using this brown shade right here as a transition shade. And I'm going to just be taking a fluffy brush and running this in my crease. All right, so after that, I am going to pick up this dark purple right here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's got a little bit of a sparkle to it. So I'm actually going to be using this on my ring finger, and I'm going to be placing this all over my eyelid. Now, I'm going to go in with the brush here in a little bit to get closer to the crease. So don't worry about that, we will get to it. Okay, now I'm going to just go in with a flat shader brush and get even closer to the crease. This is a very pretty color. And it's packing on very nicely. And just so you guys know, while I was at the store and I picked this up, there are, I believe, three other palettes. One is a gold palette, which is the one I wanted, but I have enough gold shades. So I decided to venture out with the purple. And I believe there is... There's one other palette, but I'm not entirely sure which one that is. But yeah, these can be found at your local drugstore. And Milani is one of my favorite drugstore brands. They have a great foundation. Their highlighters are amazing. All right, so I'm just blending this into the crease again with the brush. And next, I'm going to go into a smaller brush, and I'm going to be picking up the even darker purple right here. And I'm just going to be packing this on to my outer corner. You're not going to be able to see much of a difference between the colors, but it's going to bring some definition back to the eye. Again, I just kind of want to stay in the plums and purples for this look. So just packing this on the outer corner. And then real quick, just going back in, picking up a little bit more of the transition shade and just blending this into the crease. Next what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do a halo eye. So I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand, just like that. And I'm going to take a flat top concealer brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the center of my eye just so it's a base for the product I'm going to lay on top. And again on the other eye. Now, as you can see, I just screwed up. I looked way too far up and so I transferred my product. 
when that happens, I mean, honestly, we're just going to have to wipe it away and we'll have to go back in and blend. So just be careful not to look up too high when doing that. So why that is setting, I'm going to go back in with this brown a little bit on my brush and just quickly blend over that just to even it out. Since I took a little bit of that off. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to go in with this middle shade. It is like a champagne-y pinky with a little bit of a rose gold purple reflex in it. So I think this will be really pretty to put on the halo of the eye. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and pack this on with my finger. Now I know the eye probably looks a little crazy right now, but just bear with me, we'll blend it. So I'm gonna take some more of that on a brush and just really pack that into the crease. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back in with that smaller tapered brush and just blend out the edges with the purple that we used as our base, just so it looks more seamless. And it's kind of diffusing the halo color a little bit, which is kind of what I want, because I don't want it to be too bright. After I've done that, I'm just going to take a little bit more of the center shade and pack it on just so it's there. And then one more time, we're going to go ahead and blend. Alrighty, so we've got a majority of the eye done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another fluffy blending brush and I'm going to be taking this kind of pearly white color and I'm going to use this just to clean up up here because I feel like it got a little dark and this is like a skin tone color so I think it works perfect. It kind of just, I don't know, like I said, it cleans it up. Okay, now while we're here I'm going to go ahead and highlight the brow bone and for that I'm going to be using the same color we used for the halo just to tie it all together and just highlight the brow bone. All right, so I'm back from the eyes, so we're going to move on to the foundation. For the foundation today, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Longwear Foundation, and I am in the shade, let's see here, oh, Light Nude. Now, I think this is gonna be a little light for me, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix it. So I'm just gonna do a couple swipes of this on, and by the way, I love this applicator. Like, can you guys see this? It is amazing. I love all these brands that are using doe foot applicators now. I personally love it. So I'm going to be mixing it in with my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And this is in the shade Candlelight. This is a very bronzy color. So it's going to add a little bit more of a tan to it. Which is what I want. So just a little bit of that because these are very strong and I'm just going to go ahead and buff this in with my BH Cosmetics 116 brush and we are going to go in with concealer and for concealer today I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape and light medium honey and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes around my nose and on my chin I'm also going to put a few swipes of my gel serum, Sephora concealer, and buttercup just to really brighten the under eyes. And I'm going to be taking my damp beauty blender and blending this in. All right, so since we have done concealer, I'm going to go ahead and move back onto the eyes and finish the lower lash line. For the lower lash line today, I'm going to be taking 
the dark purple with a little bit of sparkle in it. And I'm just going to run this under my lower lash line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking the even darker purple and I'm going to be focusing this just right on the outer corner. Kind of like mimicking the top of it. And then what I like to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of the transition shape and a little bit of the lighter shade on the fluffy brush and I like to just sweep it under my eye. I think it just kind of blends it and diffuses it. And I think it just kind of pulls the look together. Now, one last thing while we're on the eyes is I'm going to be taking... Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first spray my brush with a little bit of the rose water and I'm going to be taking the middle shade and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty. Really intense, intensifies it. Put the rest of my brow bone. All right, so I'm back from putting on mascara. So the eyes are done. Here, I'll zoom you guys in. All right, I think the eyes turned out great. I really like the purple halo. I think it's, I don't know, I just think it's festive. You can totally wear this out. You can wear this for a day look. You do you, girl. All right, so we're gonna go back to finishing the face. So I'm gonna first start off with my cream products and I'm going to be going in with my blush and just stippling this onto my cheeks. Next, I'm gonna go in with highlighter, and for highlighter, I'm going to be going into my Tarte Twinkle Stick in Candlelight, and I'm just going to be placing a little bit of this on my cheekbones as a base for my highlighter, so it pops even more. Now, you totally could go less out there on the highlight since the eyes are so much, but I don't know. For this look, I'm just kind of going all the way here. I think it's gonna look amazing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with, <sighs> what are we gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and go in with some powder blush. And for this, I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Parte. It actually is Parte. I can get it open. Just a really nice nude blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put in a little bit of that to set my blush. I really don't want, want much blush since I don't wanna have pink on my cheeks and then purple on my eyes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. And for that, I'm going to be using my Tardis Pro Glow Palette and the Sculpt Shade. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on a Sephora brush. This is a 74 and we're just going to contour the cheekbones a little bit. Do the forehead. John. And then the remainder I'm just going to put under my lip and on my nose. All right, so we've contoured, now we're going to bronze. And for bronzer, I'm gonna be going back into my NYX bronzer in the shade medium. And first I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush and just drag this down my neck so my face and my neck are uniform. And I really don't wanna to go too overboard on the bronzer today, so I'm just gonna take a teeny bit of it and just kind of powder the perimeter of my face. Really not a lot, I think the contour was enough. All right, so what I'm gonna do before I go ahead and go in with highlight is spritz a little bit of a rose water spray. And right as that starts to dry down, we are going to go ahead and highlight. And for highlighter today, I'm going to be going in with my Wet n Wild Highlighting Gold Bar in the shade. I think it's just called Gold Bar. Oh, Holly Goldhead. 
So it looks like that. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's a really pretty color. So I'm going to be taking my Anastasia A23 brush. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's a nice champagne gold. So I really think it's going to suit the eye look today. And take a little bit on my finger for my cupid's bow. Soft matte lip color in the shade Centerfold. And this is just a really pretty nude. It's darker than it looks. You guys can see that. It's just a gorgeous nude. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my lips. And the name of this, the Whipped Soft Matte, is literally the perfect name. These are so comfortable to wear. And oh, I just love how they feel in the lips. Alrighty. So I feel like that's a little bit too brown. So what I'm going to try is going in with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade... O2, and this is a really pink gloss. So I'm just gonna put this to the center of my lips just to see if it will lighten it just a tad. And it adds a little bit of gloss. All right, so that completes our look. I absolutely loved how this turned out. I think, I don't know, it's just fun and festive. This would have been a great New Year's Eve look. But I don't know. I really like the purple on my eyes, actually. I really think it pops for brown eyes, and it looks great. So if you guys liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below.